In this video, we're going to be um, using congruent triangles to prove um, congruent line segments and congruent angles. So if you want to prove segments or angles are congruent in two triangles, you must first prove the triangles themselves are congruent. And after we do that, we're able to use the corresponding parts of congruent triangles, our congruent theorem, to um, show that their parts are congruent. And so this CPCTC, this will be a, another um, property that we're going to be using in our proofs. And so we're going to go ahead and open up our proof workbook, and we're going to do the CPCTC proof number one together. Notice in this proof, our goal is to prove that angle XVW, that's this angle here, is congruent to angle XZY. I do not know that those angles are congruent. That is my goal at the end of my proof. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that as my last statement. Before I can prove that these two angles are congruent, I have to first prove that these two triangles themselves are congruent. So I'm going to have to prove these triangles are congruent, and then I'll be able to say that because those triangles are congruent, these two angles must be congruent. So first, we are given that x is the midpoint of line segment VZ. We're also given that X is the midpoint of line segment WY. So remember midpoints, they divide line segments into two equal pieces. So let's look at the first statement. If X is the midpoint of line segment VZ, it means that this line segment must be equal in length or congruent to this line segment. So I'll add that in my proof. Line segment VX must be congruent to line segment ZX because X was a midpoint. And so our reason for this statement is the definition of midpoint. So on my quest to prove these two triangles are congruent, I now have one pair of congruent sides. So I'm just going to mark that for myself, knowing that I do have a pair of congruent sides. Okay, And I used, I used that first given statement to get those congruent sides. Let's go to that second given statement. It tells us that X is also the midpoint of line segment WY means it divides it into equal pieces. So line segment WX must be equal in length or congruent to line segment YX because X is the midpoint. So I'm going to add that to my proof. Line segment WX must be congruent to line segment YX. And that is another definition of midpoint. That helped me get a second pair of congruent sides. So now, remember I'm trying to prove these two triangles are congruent. I don't have enough information yet. I have to find another congruent part. So I'm asking myself, do I know anything more about any of the sides or the angles? Notice that these two triangles are touching and there's intersecting lines. 
and I can see that we have a pair of vertical angles in the picture. That means these two angles in each triangle must be congruent to each other. Okay, so I'm going to add that in my proof. I can't just call it angle X. If I want to name this angle, I need to use three points. So to name this angle on the left, I could call this angle VXW. Angle VXW is congruent. When I name this angle, I'm going to name it ZXY. And I knew those two angles were congruent because they were vertical angles. And so now, looking at my picture, I can tell I have enough information now to prove that these two triangles are congruent. From my picture, I have a side angle side congruence theorem. The angle is in between the two sides. So it's a side angle side congruence theorem that I found to be able to prove that these two triangles are congruent. We just need to be careful when we go to name our triangles, we have to match up their corresponding um, angles. So if I go to name this first triangle, I'll call it triangle VXW. Okay. Now I got to be careful with my order when I name the second triangle. I got to match pieces together. V matches with Z. So if I wrote V first, I need to write Z first. X matches with X, and W matches with Y. So I'm going to say triangle VXW is congruent to triangle ZXY by the side angle side theorem. Well, if these two triangles are congruent, then it must be true that angle XVW, this angle here, is congruent to angle XZY because the two triangles are congruent. And so I'm now able to say my final statement, and that's because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent.